get all the great sensors in here that you'd expect from a smartwatch at this price point we get a gyroscope we get a barometer of course there's wi-fi of course there's bluetooth if lte is your thing there's an lte edition as well we also get the exynos 9110 processor at 1.15 gigahertz now that's the same processor that was in the active watch 2 and the galaxy watch 46 millimeter but honestly it's a good performer the tizen operating system is well optimized for that chip and with one gigabyte of ram and eight gigabyte of storage you're not going to have any issue no matter what you throw on the smartwatch you can connect a bluetooth headset directly to the watch itself so if you want to download some music from your smartphone to the watch or if you have a spotify premium account you can download from your spotify directly onto the watch itself leave your phone at home go for that run listen to those tunes and then when you finish with your activity open up samsung pay make those mobile payments buy your protein shake all without having your phone with you so i think that's something really cool the screen is 1.4 inches and in typical samsung fashion amoled screen is where it's at they make some really beautiful panels and this is no exception it's covered in gorilla glass dx so you should get some pretty good scratch resistance what you just saw me do is the rotating bezel and i think this is one of the best features that samsung has ever invented on a wearable because here at least in the northeast we get pretty brutal winters it snows a lot it rains a lot and we all know that's really not conducive to using a touch screen you're not going to be able to do anything with it so even though you have gloves on in the winter you can just rotate around and get to where you need to get and even those warm summer months it's just super easy to rotate and do whatever you need to do the 5 atm rating on here means that you can go for a swim ip68 has you covered with dust as well and with that military spec durability this is a watch that's going to be able to take a beating this is a watch that you can take a swim with take into extreme temperatures and be good to go the battery is 340 milliamp hour which samsung claims two days but i'm going to give you my real world experience with that in just a second but thankfully we do have the blood oxygen sensors in here so you can measure that if you want to and there's a trip fall detection so if you've fallen and you can't get up it'll ask you to tap on some prompts on your watch the galaxy watch does have a speaker built right in so you can take phone calls from your wrist I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Samsung's Tizen watches, their Galaxy watches, are number two in the wearable market, right behind the Apple Watch. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason that I see more Galaxy watches on wrists around New York, on wrists around the tri-state area. Because as you see, they're very, very attractive watches. The attention to detail is spot on with Samsung. Just take a look at this knob on the right side here. It actually says Galaxy Watch. I think you guys can see that right there. But their attention to detail is something other manufacturers in the wearable market just don't do and at this price point i would expect nothing less than a beautifully crafted timepiece and this definitely is one of those timepieces that'll look great with a suit it'll also look great if you just throw on some shorts and a t-shirt go out for a walk or whatever you need to do this is a timepiece that's going to look excellent other than the craftsmanship it's just well optimized it's it's not really a battery hog it's just something that if you've never picked up a smartwatch before you can kind of figure your way through it if you've ever used a smartphone you'll be able to find what you need to find thanks to a microphone and a speaker you'll hear a little chime that you can change when you get a message all you have to do is scroll to the left and you'll be able to see all of your notifications and if you click on one you'll see the entire thread with pictures and emojis that come through so i think that's something really cool i think that's again what makes the galaxy watch 3 what makes samsung ties and watches the most desirable smartwatch in the market so going to the right this is where you have some widgets this is where you have kind of a daily overview a daily snapshot if you will of what's been going on throughout your day now samsung wants this to be an active watch as well and let's just get into the active features of this watch because well it can track quite a bit of exercises here and it can also automatically start recording so if you go for a run and you forget to hit the run button it'll automatically notice that you are running and it'll start that workout for you now there's a ton of different exercises here if in my personal experience samsung has never been number one when it's come to activity tracking they've always been a little bit behind the likes of garmin and the likes of some other manufacturers that only do fitness watches but i am happy to tell you guys that samsung has very much improved the galaxy watch 3 sensors gps locks on a lot faster than my garmin watch gps locks on a lot faster than any other device that i have i think they do a great job with their gps lock on ability now how accurate is the gps tracking it actually did okay it was probably about two tenths to maybe three tenths behind now is that a huge deal for the average consumer that's buying a samsung watch that's not a big deal at all for the average person two tenths of a mile is not a big deal at all every monitor on the back speaking of workouts did a really good job as well 
I'm really impressed that Samsung has improved the accuracy of this heart rate monitor. So let's talk about battery life because that's number one when you have something on your wrist. Now in terms of battery life, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm at 14% right now and I have to tell you, I'm a little bit disappointed. The battery life on the all new Galaxy Watch 45 millimeter is about a day and a half if you're doing any sort of GPS tracking, that's really gonna drain the battery. Being a high-end watch, wireless charging is a thing, but unfortunately, Samsung's a little bit behind the curve when it comes to watch charging technology. It takes about two hours to fully charge this thing, and there is no quick charge feature. At this price point, I would have liked to have seen a quick charge feature, plop it on for 10 or 15 minutes, and at least get you a couple hours of charge. But this will take a long time to charge, and that's just a little bit of a bummer. I hope next year around, or in their active line, that they include some sort of quick charge capability. It just looks great, it looks very attractive, and it just tracks everything that you'd ever want it to do. And it does a good job at everything, just not a great job at some things. But that's been my review, guys. I hope this has helped you out. If